Thank use notice. This video may contain copyright materials, the use of which has not been specifically authorized by the copyright owner. We are making such material available for the purposes of criticism, comment, review, and news reporting, which constitutes the fair use of any such copyright materials, as provided for in Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Law and Sections 29 and 30 of the U.K. Copyright Design and Patent Act 1988. The fair use of a copyrighted work for purposes such as criticism, comment, review, and news reporting is not an infringement of copyright. We do want to turn now to the shocking takedown of a teenager at a North Carolina hospital. He's seen being thrown to the ground on surveillance video. This morning, his mother is talking about what happened. ABC's Trevor Alt has more. It's shocking security footage capturing a North Carolina teen slammed by a security guard and punched by a sheriff's deputy. But this morning, it's the teen who's facing charges. Jessica Long said she'd taken her 16-year-old son Hayden to the hospital because he was in the midst of a mental health crisis. I was still thinking, these men will help. Their, their goal will be to help me help my son. And... They, they didn't do that. Hospital footage obtained by the family's attorney shows Hayden shoving his mom as she waves for help. A security guard then pushing the teen down twice, pulling a stun gun. And as Hayden walks back to the car, a second security guard grabs him by the neck and tackles him from behind, leaving Hayden bleeding. When deputies arrive, things escalate even further. Authorities claiming Hayden spit blood in the face of Deputy Justin Polson, who responds by punching the handcuffed teen twice in the head. Sheriff Bill Beam has defended Deputy Polson, claiming he had a reaction to a felonious assault. And despite the video, the sheriff told WBTV earlier this week, Deputy Polson didn't punch the teen, saying, all I saw was once and he was pushing him back away. No, he did not punch him in the face. But the sheriff's office now tells ABC News, Deputy Polson is no longer employed with the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office. 16-year-old Hayden is now facing multiple charges, including felony in the assault of a law enforcement officer, his mother says she was just trying to get him help. I took him to an emergency room and he was treated like a criminal by everybody. Nobody ever treated him like a patient.